to the Beast of the East. Jack Burford Chevrolet presents Race Week at the Richmond Raceway in Richmond, Kentucky. Here's your host in all things racing, Bill Lupino. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Jack Burford Chevrolet's Race Week. Big week, Bill. And I know you want to talk about it, so we'll just start it off with you. Tell us about it. Well, it went absolutely awful. Um, you know, we had our plan in place to work the track, the facility, get everything right. going, and that type of thing. And I know a lot of people out there like to say that we show up Saturday, put a teaspoon of water on the track and run. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Right. You know, track prep started on Tuesday. We graded, we compacted, we got out with the water truck at night, we watered, uh, left her soaking wet, ready to go like mm -hmm. we normally do leading up to race day. And then it was 28 degrees. And so, you know, you get up Wednesday morning and it snowed. Yeah. So then you have snow to ground and you have frozen stuff everywhere and it's like, okay, you can know, go out and mow the fields in the snow, which was interesting, but you know, we did what we did. Right. Went out Wednesday night, put some more water on track, even though it was cold because we knew mm -hmm. we needed to do that. Sure. We were concerned, I was concerned, mm -hmm. I'm not going to put it on the family because they just kind of let me do my thing. Sure. If you overwater a racetrack with cold temperatures, right. then you put the 900 horsepower late models on there and they dive into the turns, it rips apart. Right. And when it rips apart, you start having all the ruts and divots yes. and that stuff we were having last year at the end of the year and you have the cars going airborne and you have mm -hmm. things getting broken, potentially sure. people getting hurt, sure. flips. So trying to be very, very cautious to not have that happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're over cautious, overly right. cautious, you right. mess yourself up on the side of caution and make it even worse. Right, right. So we're being super cautious. I'm being super cautious mm -hmm. on what to do, but I'm trying to put enough water that it's going to be racy, but also want it to stay together. Also don't want it to be too dry. Also don't want it to be too wet. Right. So we're out there with the freezing cold temperatures. Wednesday night, you know, put some more water on track. It was 27 degrees again. You know, you get out there Thursday and you kind of do your thing and work on it a little bit more. We water it again Thursday night. So then comes the tricky part. Um, you know, I watch the weather like there's no tomorrow. Yes. Go to bed Thursday about midnight, and we had 2% chance of rain Friday. Right. Get up 6 o'clock Friday morning, look at my app, and it says 58%. And I was like, okay, I don't know where this came from. I go look at the hourly, 9, 10, and 11 o'clock, it has us getting rain. Getting rain, that's correct. Yep. And I look at the radar, and it has us covered in green. Right. So normally on race day morning, the water from the night before has soaked in by that time of the day, mm -hmm. and I can go out and drive on a racetrack without ripping it up, and I sure. usually water the racetrack between right. you know, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So looking at the weather and I see the rain coming, I'm like, okay, if I go and water the track now and then we get three hours of rain, we're not racing. Right. Period. Right. So I'm waiting it out and waiting for the rain and waiting for the rain, and we didn't get a single drop. So now it's noon, I'm behind, kind of scrambling on trying to figure out where to go with it and what to do. Sure. I put some water on track, you know, kind of rolled it in, kind of worked with it. Did a little bit more later on, roll it in and worked it. I'm looking and the bottom's drying out more than I want, but at that time of the day, if you soak the bottom, it pools in the bottom of the turns and you'll literally have standing water about this wide and about that deep. And you don't want that. You can't race with that. Right. Because right. drivers don't want to race with that. It's not sure. good, they hit it, they splash up. So you sure. can't do that either. So kind of behind it there, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. what do I do with the bottom? Kind of got to go with it. Um, you know, we're rolling through the day and I'm watching the weather all day long and it's saying six mile an hour winds. All of a sudden the wind is whipping. I looked it's at my app and it was like crazy. 16 right. miles per hour. Right. So then we're at the point where the wind's whipping, track's drying, it's four o'clock. If I go out at that point in time and soak it like I needed to to give a good racing surface, mm -hmm. then you're mm -hmm. starting really late. Sure. Now we have two restrictions with the county. The days we race, mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right. have to be done by midnight. Got to be done by Those are restrictions right. we inherited when we got here. Sure. It's in our entertainment permit. Mm -hmm. We know what we have to do. Mm -hmm. The last two years, I've had a great relationship with Judge Taylor in the right. county. Um, we've had no issues whatsoever. Right. We adhere to what to, on our paperwork. Mm -hmm. He's given me an exception later in the year to run our summer nationals race on a Sunday night okay. because we've gotten along so well with him. Sure. He's given me an right. exception to the paperwork, Good. and I appreciate that tremendously. Good. Last thing I want to do is mess that up by going until right. 2 o'clock in the morning yeah, exactly. just because this is what we're up against. Sure. Sure. So we had to roll out with dry track. Didn't want to. It was awful. It was dusty. It was horrible. No right. racing, no passing, right. nothing. Completely my fault. I let down everyone, the series, the drivers, the fans, my family, my decision. Well, and I think a lot of people don't realize the impact of weather and mm -hmm. based on the information you have at that time mm -hmm. determines what you do. Yes. And the information that I had at that time mm -hmm. wasn't what came. Right. Because I'm watching it and I'm like, okay, this isn't good. So, you know, we roll out and it's sure. awful. You know, it just was horrible. Okay. So, you know, got my, my guys together and we came up with a plan when intermission rolled around that, you know, 
we're going to go out and we're going to put some water around top of the racetrack. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to follow me in our trucks because we have the four trucks out there. We're going right. to roll it in and, right. you know, try to make this better for everyone. And problem you have there is you're down to 50 degrees at that point and it's dark and, it's and of dark. course the wind stopped sure so instead of it being a half an hour 35 40 minute process like we had planned and mm -hmm. hoped it ends up being you know an hour and 20 minutes so okay. all these people paid to get in to watch sure. racing and they're sitting there watching f-150s roll around the, roll track, around the, the opposite track. direction right. trying right. to roll in sloppy racetrack sure. sure finally got it in you know got going put out super stocks they helped roll it in i appreciate them tremendously for okay. helping with that okay uh they ran their race we bring out the world of outlaw feature and the first three quarters of the race was excellent people that only watched the leader because he led every lap are saying it was horrible if you watch throughout the field our buddy scott james from up there in indiana was running the top and passing everybody right he was coming for second when chris madden kind of wanted to perform him and took off his nose and you know it was a show behind him right behind the leader tim mccready just he, he just he just blew everybody away yeah timmy's right bright. um funny thing about tim mccready is He's from Watertown, New York. And in okay. Victory Lane, when I talked to him, I told him, you know, I'm from upstate New York. And I told him, you know, I grew up watching Big Black Modifieds. I grew up watching his dad. And wow. yeah, his dad, Bob McCready, Fantastic. was somebody I watched growing up. And I told Tim Excellent. that. He thought that was kind of Excellent. cool. Excellent. That's you know, really cool. Yeah, That's so, really you know, cool. that was cool having Tim McCready sure. win at my track. But, right. you know, then towards the end of the race, like it normally does on a big race like that, it took rubber up top it, two. It, so it's it a lot. locks yes. down. It locks right. down in the last mm -hmm. 12 laps or so, you know, kind mm -hmm. of follow around the bottom. And... You know, it was nowhere near what we planned or what we worked for. It's what happened. We tried to adapt in the middle of the race. You know, I do apologize for everyone for the way it played out, and it's mm -hmm. not our plan moving forward. You know, we got to learn to adapt to the weather a little more. But right. not an excuse, but when the weather tells you it's going to do something and then it doesn't do that. You're, you're, again, you're, you're responsible for what you're based on at the time. It's are. sort of like me and our meteorologist. Yes. Yes, exactly. Right. So, you know, one thing I, I would like to address, too, before we kind of talk about the results sure. and that type of thing Excellent. is um, another local track here in the area yesterday mm -hmm. put out a post acknowledging how much mother nature plays into yes. track prep and right. that type of stuff. And I appreciate that. They didn't have to say anything. They didn't right. have to do anything like that. And sure. you know, that's top notch for them to do that. Right. <clears throat> this week, the promoter of that track who also promotes Ponderosa over there in Junction City mm -hmm. is hosting the Lucas Oil Light Model Series, which is okay. the other national touring series. Okay. And I know that there's some mother nature looks like she wants to mess yeah. with them Thursday and Friday yep. morning. And I that's hope right. that they don't run into the same problems. The same I did. issue. Right. I hope that, you know, they have it where that mm -hmm. mother nature doesn't mess them up. Yep. They can have a great show. Right. I really hope everyone goes and supports them. Yep. Because the thing people don't understand, and I get this from a lot of people, people think that when a series comes into a racetrack, the series is paying the drivers to race there. Right, right. They may see a driver get a, track, a check from the World of Outlaws at sure. the end of the night, and like, oh, they paid him. Truth be told, the track pays that. Yeah. At the end of the day, my wife wrote a check to the World of Outlaws for $63,000. Wow. When Lucas is over at Ponderosa, the gentleman over there is going to write a check to Lucas Oil at the end of the night at for tonight, whatever right. theirs is, $50,000, sure. $70,000. Right, right. And... You know, it's a huge expense to take on to try sure. to run these shows and yep. do what you have to do. And, you know, the last thing you want to do is have it be a mess. Right. You don't want right. to do that for anyone and I, you know, or have a horrible turnout due to weather mm -hmm. or whatever. So I hope everybody mm -hmm. goes over and supports them this it supports week. supports that, right. Be a, you know, a big show for them. And I hope that that goes really, really Excellent. well. Excellent. Fantastic. So that's where we're at with that. So <laughs> I noticed that I got a lot of uh, text and, wow, these big trucks, nice cars coming in. So it's a totally different Yes. style of racing that's for sure because they wow look at those trucks yes. look at those the cars. national guys come yep. in with their huge toters Excellent. and you know Excellent. you see them rolling in we got up in the morning we were lined up out there at the gate you know Fantastic. they just come in they unload it's just like a different creature what's going yep. on and i'm you know, sure it's, it's it's really amazing to see and to to witness right and you know we had them out there on thursday with the dirt mm -hmm. vision truck to do the tv yes, broadcast absolutely and yep. the big world of outlaws that's truck right. is rolling that's in right. first thing friday morning so mm -hmm. you know it was a big spectacle it was a great thing yeah it's a big deal you yeah. know like i explained you know i know that my decisions and indecisions on mm -hmm. some things and, you know, affected things in a negative way. I hope we fixed it enough where people were happy with the feature. Sure, exactly. And, you know, we're never going to hide behind things, make excuses. I just told the story of exactly what played out. Right. And exactly how it played out. And, you know, I do take full ownership for what happened. And I just kind of hope we can move on to the Finn Watson, our next event, May yes. 15th. May 15th, And people right. come out and race and support and give us a chance to show that, you know, we'll be better. We'll be better. Well, and the thing is, is that it's not an exact science. Mm. It's not. It's not. It's hard. But concessions went excellent. Concessions are good. Right. We didn't run out of anything, which excellent. is good because nice I know my wife was terrified all week long. That I had 800 <laughs> hot dogs. I hope they don't run out. Wow. You know, food is good. I finally got a couple of the sausage about 10 o'clock at night, and they were good. And, they were good. Right. Um, you know, food went well. I know you, you always have the line when you have that many people right. there, and I'm pretty sure we hammered them during our 100,000-hour rolling and watering the track, sure, and they were sure. probably really busy. But kettle corn went great. You know, I Fantastic. heard that that was great, and uh, food went well. You know, we had Alex Miller out. He did a fantastic job. In Excellent. Um, people can find that on his page, Good. Alex Miller Race, uh, Racing, Alex Miller Music. Hit music. And, <laughs> That's right. 
Uh, you know, he has out, out there his performance. He did yep. a really, really good yep. job. Ms. Motorsports, uh, Andrea Cap was out, and, you know, she looked great. She's Absolutely. a sweetheart. She did a great she job. She treated everybody really well she, from what she I She really did. She Alex, did a, right. a really, really good job for Excellent. us. I appreciate her coming down. Fantastic. And I know that the quality in here was packed because uh, I know that's where all the World of Outlaw good. guys, staff, and nice. series Excellent. people stayed. Andrea stayed there. Good. So I know that they had a packed house, which is good. That's fantastic. And, you know, appreciate my staff and the hard work they did. Excellent. So. That's fantastic. So I guess that leads us to... The results. So, uh, yeah, like I said, Tim McCready won the World of Outlaws. He's actually Excellent. a Lucas follower, but they actually rained out up in Illinois. So Timmy showed up to race with us, and you Excellent. know he came in and won. Um, kind of led start to finish because he started outside front row, got the lead, and was gone. At one point, Chris Madden was closing in on him, and Tim changed his line and made sure he wasn't and getting made him. Made sure he was right. And like I said, our friend uh, Scott James, who races with us at all of our big mm -hmm. shows from up in Indiana, he was putting on a show coming around the top, and he got up to Chris Madden, and Chris moved up and blocked him, and you know. So there's, there's so, a whole lot of back There's a and forth, whole back and lot of stuff there. going on behind nice. the leader. And right. I know the 357 World of Dirt was out doing um, a video and by the legality of things with Dirt Vision, he can't put that stuff out until sure. later in the week. Right. And I know the heat races are going to look awful because they were awful. Mm -hmm. But if when he puts his stuff out, if people watch what he was filming in the feature, not just the leader, not they, just they the leader, can see right. some good racing. They can see some good racing. Right. And then, you know, we did start out with the Our American Racer South uh, Super Stock Series, and Logan okay. Preston took home the first ever win in that, and okay. he's our track point leader because he wins, has won every time we've raced. Sure. And, you know, he did a good job out there like he normally does, and Aaron Branham once again won our Eagle Finance UMP Modified Race, so he's won two in good. a row sitting as a point leader as well. So Excellent. That's good. Well, and, and the thing is, is that you got the race. Yes. That's number one. National Series coming in, first time ever. Yes. And, I mean, you're going to have some hiccups, but, I mean, they, the winner was happy, correct? Oh, yeah, he won. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he won. He was happy. Good, so. good, good. But, you know, like I said, just to kind of reemphasize a little right. bit, you know, I do feel really, really bad sure. for letting down everyone that it was my responsibility to right. give them this, yeah. and I didn't. I know. So, you know. It's tough. It I is. mean, it's, it's, it's tough. I mean, anything, anything, I mean, I've been covering sports for a long time. Anything to do with weather and you're dependent right. upon weather? Hey, I've done a yes. lot of horse racing. Same way. Same I mean, thing. I didn't know what was going on at 6 yeah. o'clock in the morning when I yep. saw 58% chance mm -hmm. of rain. I look at my prime three hours of watering time had green. Right. I, where did this come from? Yep. This was not even close to the yep. plan. I mean, that's the time that I go out in the morning and I right. go walk on sure. the racetrack and I know I can drive on her without sure. ripping her up. I go I out and get my water truck and go and get that morning right. water on there. And I, it's like, what do I do? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I would do in that situation. And then, you know, I'm looking and every hour is coming, 9, 10, it's, 11. I'm like, there's no rain. Like, there's no at? rain. There's no they rain. They said it's coming, right? So it just kind of was what it was, you know. Well, in the past, let's put it behind us. Yes. Another race, May the 15th. Tell us about it. May the 15th, uh, Southern All Stars will be up to race with us. It Excellent. will be the Finn Watson Memorial. Okay. Um, Finn is being inducted into the Late Model Hall of Fame this oh, cool. year. Cool, cool. Yep, his son Jeff races with us on a regular basis, and right. we'll be hosting his dad's memorial. We are having some t shirts made from Arizona Sports Shirts. Sweet. Excellent. Uh, they'll be really nice. Haven't been beforehand. Hopefully, I'll have them in soon enough to come in and show one, sure, you know, sure. leading up to the race. That'll be May 15th. We are off here the next couple weeks. This right. weekend, the okay. Lucas Oil Boys are also up in Florence on okay. Saturday, so you're okay. not going to race against that. Right, right. Um, then we took off next the following week just because we had no reason really to race and rush it when we're trying to kind of run a limited schedule. Right, and right. I do know there'll be um, some kind of big event cancer-related down at Lake Kermelin Speedway where they're doing something oh, with some cool. Jeeps and a cancer awareness oh, and then oh, a race awareness? night okay. and Excellent. having some music and that okay. type of thing. So, you know, I hope people go out and support cancer sport awareness. Yes, That's absolutely. always a good thing. Right. Um, and then we'll come back May 15th and race. Excellent. That's so. fantastic. Uh, for more information, where can everybody get all the details? I know your website, Facebook page. Yep, Twitter website, www.richmond-raceway.net, Facebook page, okay. Richmond Raceway KY, um, and Twitter, the same thing. Excellent. And, you know, we're putting some things out. Put out a Finn Watson poster this morning. There'll be more information coming soon okay. for prices and times and that type of thing. Put out all the pictures yesterday. Okay, um, good. Jimmy yeah, tons photos. of pictures, people. Yep. Go on their Facebook page, watch that. Absolutely. Jimmy See Pittman that. photos. Our track photographer does yep. a great job. Very so we good. got Very those good. out there. My poster for the Finn Watson was once again made by 28 Designs. Yep. Uh, Ken Fantastic. Troy does a fantastic job for us. Thanks so. for the graphics. Yes, thank you for the graphics. So, you know, we got that <laughs> yep. out there this morning. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we'll just regroup Excellent. and go That's from there. That's uh, fantastic. Make sure you follow them on Facebook and, and Twitter. Um, and they're, they they do constant updates. So it's Actually. never a lack of information. And tell us about hoodie and t-shirt sales while we're at it. Uh, well, you know, we sold some. Did you sell some? Okay. Some, but... With the situation with the World Outlaws trailers are huge. And they oh, well, that's true. I, I forget about so, that. So, yes, that's they true. were actually parked so they, outside they the They migrated gate. out there. Yes. Exactly. And they sold a ton of stuff. Okay. Because we were that's going good. around picking up uh, the garbage and everything right. yesterday because we couldn't do Saturday because it sure. poured. Sure, sure. 
they left me about 30 empty boxes, all stacked neatly, that I was loading in the back of my truck wow. to bring back to the dumpster from their one trailer. And the other wow. trailer, they left me about 12. Nice. And I'm reading on the sides of what they were, which what driver they were. shirts they were. So they just sold. They just Between sold Arizona them. Sports Shirt, World Valor, they sold a ton of stuff. Excellent. And that's great. That's great. You that's know, that, That's really, really good. So, you know, that's it was... Excellent. Yeah, it was what it was. <laughs> All right. Bill, thanks for coming on. Thank you. We will see you next time on Jack Burford Chevrolet's Richmond Raceway Race Week. Thanks for watching everything.